So recently I received this uh, message on my WhatsApp and uh, within the space of three days, uh, am I right? Yeah, three days, I got another message, which is this one. And these two guys are trying to solve the same problem, trying to use a domain name they, they bought on Truehost as a custom domain for another platform probably uh you know github the first guy was from github and uh, the other guy didn't really mention uh where is uh pointing to so uh we tried to work this out and uh, i discovered that that option is not on the control panel of uh, truehost so I told the last guy I was going to contact Truehost and find out how to do this and then I'm going to make a video on it. So if you have been facing the same problem or you just bought a domain on Truehost and you want to use it for another platform, then we're going to solve that problem together in this video. Make sure you watch to the very end, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not so that you can see more notification let's get into the video all right so the first thing we do as soon as we are logged in into our truest client area is to choose the domain we're going to make use of this this is the only uh, the function that we're going to make use of so but first we need to go to our domain all right it's loading 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 we need to give it a y Okay, all right, so here I have four domain and I'm going to use this one because this one is currently not hosted on Truehost. So I'm going to click on this place and then we go to uh, manage name servers, manage name servers. So that is the first thing they ask us to do. We need to change the name server of this. We need to change the name servers of this one uh, to a name server that will be given unto us. So these are the name servers, default name servers from a uh, true host. Okay. All right. So. Uh, okay, I think I changed this. Sorry, I changed this before. Okay, I changed this before because I pointed it to a website. So we need to change it again. I'm gonna clear this. I like this. Then we we'll come here. I'm gonna leave a link to this article on my blog so that you can read and then you can copy this uh, name servers directly from there okay so we copy the first one and uh, we paste here and uh, the second one as well we go back and copy it okay and uh, we paste here so when that is done we can remove this other ones here and then we can say change name servers okay we save name server the network is a bit slow all right so uh, that is saved that is saved that is saved i believe let me wait for it okay so good Alright, so this is saved successfully. Then we need to go back to the uh, let's just go back to the main client area. 
you may decide to go back and click on all it from there or you can just uh, open a new tab and uh, from there you type in olit.com so this is it we click on get started all right so let me just type it in because i don't want to confuse anything here so this is the uh, the link here uh just open this a, a new and then you just set up an account so which is what this place is trying to do so whichever way you decide to go uh, it's all fine all we need to do is have an account on all it I think my network is a bit uh, slow okay I think I can see an email on my in my gmail box that uh, welcome to all it so I guess this is not coming up yet because of network but is done say an error or call please try again later so here um, so click on login here just click on login Please note that here you must have your Google uh, account to create this uh, account. Okay, so uh, let me quickly check the email that was sent to me. Probably, uh, maybe I will have to create a new password. Okay, so it's telling me I will need my email and the password I chose through uh, during sign up. So, and in this case, I only clicked on connect from the uh, the client area here, and uh, it didn't really ask me for password, probably because of the network issue. So, let me try uh, logging in. Uh, with my email address okay and then I'll type uh, okay and then I try to log in and see okay so it says so let's just go ahead and say continue with Google and then use my account and see what happens here choose this account So, um, okay, let me save this. All right, so I'm going to save this. So, as you can see here, there's nothing here. Once we've done this, the next thing is for us to go to DNS management here. DNS management. So, go to DNS management and then you need to click here add domain and then that domain that i added 
that is a store link dot com dot ng so i'm going to enter it into this place so okay so and i'm going to add Okay, so you can see it's been added. That is because I've changed the uh, name servers. So, okay, so we have this. Then the next thing we need to do is now click on manage. So, as you can see here, you'll be able to add a record here. And you can choose the type of record so probably I won't believe this information must have been given to you from the platform maybe Vipa probably github or whatever platform that is giving it to you probably Google so you can choose from here uh, that you want to enter a C name and a record MX TXT or whatever you want to enter so you can choose that here and then provide the values so i believe this video has been so helpful to help solve the problem of uh, managing dns on uh, a domain that you bought with a uh, trust if that has been the case if the video has helped you please give it a like so that others can see it you know one thing about the youtube algorithm is as uh, you continue to like the video they want to show something that people like to others so if this video gets more like then it's going to show up to other people who might be facing the same challenge and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so right now so that you can get updates next time i publish a video like this so once you are done with that you can add thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video. Bye for now.